Alright, today we're going to be teaching you how to paint your calipers. Some of the materials you're going to be needing is a tire iron, comes stock with your car, lug nut key, also comes stock, you're going to need some safety glasses, masking tape, an old toothbrush, your grinder, you're going to need some jack stands, you can have two or four, you're going to need your jack, you're also going to need some prep wipes. In this case, I got some duplicolor prep wipes. You're going to need four of them. You're also going to need your spray paint, also caliper paint, and it has to be up to 500 degrees resistant. And you're also going to need some degreaser for your brakes. And then the last thing you're going to need is some newspaper. All right. So after you get your car up, you're going to loosen your lug nuts. You're going to get your key and your tire iron and you're going to spin it counterclockwise. Alright, after you do that, put aside your uh, key and your uh, tire iron, you're going to just lift your rim right off of the drum. Alright, which exposes the drum which you're going to paint. Alright, so once you take off your tire, you're going to need your grinder. Now with your grinder, you're going to be making sure that you have your safety gl uh, glasses because uh, there's a tendency for debris to come off and hit you right in the eye. and it can can potentially make you blind and they can also go on your skin so make sure you have your goggles. Alright so when you're grinding you're gonna you're gonna grind it to a, it's kind of silver but don't grind it too far down because you can uh, uh, screw up the drum or caliper if you do in the front so I'll show you what it's gonna look like the whole thing. Alright, so you can barely see it now, but we're barely just getting the top layer off. Alright, after you're done grinding, what you're going to do is you're going to get your degreaser and your toothbrush, and you're going to get all the spots that the grinder couldn't get. So you just apply as much as you want, and then use the toothbrush and just scrub the hell out of this, this spot. Alright, after you're satisfied with getting all the dirt off of your drum brakes, you're going to want to just take it off so you can paint it. <clears throat> so just lift up and pull towards you. It might get stuck a little bit, so just wiggle it out. You could use a hammer if it gets, if it's too rusted on there. Okay, you're just going to want to take your drum over here. And just put it in the middle of, of some uh, newspaper. And then you're also going to want to get some masking tape so you can mask off the middle bit because we don't need that painted. That's not going to be shown through the rim. So, just get some uh, masking tape and just start masking it off. This may take a little bit, so see when I'm done. Alright, now that it's all taped up, we can uh, apply the prep wipe that we got from Duplicolor. <sighs> So all you're just going to do is just lightly, just lightly uh, brush it around the whole drum brake because this stuff kind of deteriorates when you hit this stuff. So you don't want any, you don't want any extra fibers on here. Otherwise, it will get caught when you paint over it. So just, just wipe it down with your prep wipe, and then make sure that there's no fibers left uh, from it. What this does is it uh. It gets all the dirt and little particles of grime out, so when you paint it, it has a nice, it sticks to it. <clears throat> so after you, you're good, get off all the fibers and crap. Okay, you're gonna get your uh, duplicate spray paint right here, shake it well. And you're just gonna apply 
your first coat. You're going to do four coats and you're going to wait 15 minutes in between each coat. So the first coat doesn't have to be thick, you just have to get it over it. It's gonna, don't spray it too close otherwise it will drip. Let's get it from all angles. This is a, a black so you can't really see what you're missing but you're missing stuff so you gotta do four coats. One more, one more side. All right, so you're just gonna leave that there to just set for 15 minutes and we'll come back and then we'll apply another coat. All right, so we're back 15 minutes later and uh, we're ready for our second coat. So uh, we're just gonna apply it the same as we did the first time, but just keep in mind, you don't wanna spray it too close, otherwise you'll leave drips. Just keep it about one hang's length away. So uh, yeah, let's get started. See you in 15 minutes for the third coat. All right, back for our uh, third third set. All right, so we're in our fourth layer, so this is usually the touch-up layer. So we don't really need any touch-ups on this one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let this dry for about 20 minutes. And then while this one dries, we're gonna go ahead and do the other drum break. So just do the exact same thing that I showed you before, but on the other tire. And then I'll see you when we do the calipers. All right, so now we're on the front calipers. We finished with the uh, drums back there. So <clears throat> when you're gonna go grinding this, you gotta make sure that you do not hit your brake line. This is your brake line back here, if you can see it, I'm not sure. But if you hit this, you, yeah, you're screwed. So don't hit this, whatever you do. And there's a bleeder screw right here. Don't hit that either. That's not good. And you. Just try to avoid the metal pads, the brake pads. They come like this. Just try to avoid it. You don't really need to get it. You'll get it with the toothbrush and the degreaser. So yeah, just grind this whole thing, even this this front metal guard right here, and the whole side of the cal uh, yeah, caliper. And you don't have to go back here because no one's going to see it back here, so don't worry about that. Just don't hit this brake line, the bleeder screw, and try to avoid the uh, metal. And I'll uh, see you when I'm done grinding this. All right, so uh, once you've finished grinding your caliper and you've satisfied with what you've done, you're gonna need to get your degreaser and your little toothbrush right here, and you're just gonna spray it, spray it on the caliper, so just on all the places, all the cracks. And every time you see a big thing of dust, you're just gonna scrub the hell out of it, like, just like the drums, but this is what it's used for because these are the tight corners you need to get in. And as you can see, look at all this grime and crap that came off of the caliper just by using the degreaser and everything. That's All that stuff would still be on there if you didn't use it. So just keep going until you feel that you've got most of it off. You don't have to get, obviously you're not going to get every single bit of it off, but it's good just to just to go over it. And then we'll start taping everything up. After you degreased your uh, calipers, we're going to want to tape them up for paint. 
The reason why we're not taking the calipers off is because we're gonna we we would have to take the brake lines off and it's a whole big deal. You would have to bleed the brakes after. You don't want to do that. So it's easier just to tape them all up and be done with it. Okay. So how you're gonna do this is you're gonna you're gonna want your newspaper. You're gonna put it around here so you're not getting any paint. You don't want any paint on anything else, just the caliper. So you're just gonna tape it off from right here all around. You're gonna to wanna to go back through here and stop right as the caliper stops. Just tape off everything on your car, do your floor so you don't screw up your floor. And uh, I'll do that and uh, you'll see how it looks when we get back. So as you can see, we taped up the caliper. And uh, as you can see, there's you can't really see anything else but the caliper itself. So, uh, and back here, we stopped to this point right here because you can't see past that when you're looking through the room. Okay, now you want to get your dupa color prep wipe, and you're just gonna scrub it down. Just every every little crack and everywhere you can go, just put just wipe it. As you look, look at this, it's all the dirt that we would have painted over and that would have made it chip later on so you just gonna wipe this thing everywhere these things dry out pretty fast so you can't really use this one for the whole four you gotta buy four separate ones that's why so after you're done wiping all of the caliper you're going to want to get your second can of paint and just like the drum you're going to want four layers technically three but you leave the fourth one for touch ups and just do the same thing that you did to the drum alright looks pretty good let that dry just for a second Yeah, your spray paint. Make sure you shake well, because it won't come out all right. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Okay, so now you're going to start painting. Spraying. Make sure you get every bit. Make sure you don't forget the bottom too. You don't want to be too close or it will drip and it looks like crap. The first coat you really don't have to get every little bit of it because that's just going over it. It's usually the second and third coat you're going to be worried about. So uh, I'll see you in 15 minutes for the second coat. Alright, so I just skipped all the sets, so I'm on my fourth set now, so this is how it's going to look out when you're done. <coughs> just let it set for the last one for 20 minutes, and then take all the newspaper off, and then just do the same thing for the, the other side, same exact thing, and then put the wheels back on, and then uh, see you then. Alright, so it's the next morning and uh, we let the paint set overnight. And there was a few things I forgot to tell you last night. It was when you're finished your, up your painting, let it set for about 35 minutes. And then when you're going to go put the rim on, make sure you don't hit your drums or your calipers because it will screw the whole thing up. And uh, this is the back drum brake. Uh, it's black, so you can pretty much see it. And then moving on to the front caliper. You can also see it too, it's black. And when you're painting, you can use a whole bunch of different colors. You can get you can get mostly every color for your for your calipers and drums. I did mine a long I did mine a long time ago, but you can do yours red like mine. You can, different colors come out different ways. So uh, yeah, you just learned how to paint your calipers. Ha 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 ha, you're so